Hey, okay, it's Rob in the kitchen again. Uh, you know, we're still under the whole uh, quarantine slash shelter at home kind of thing. I just wanted to do a check-in because I've been doing a lot of work from home and uh, haven't had a lot of time to do things. So we're going to try and do a couple things today, but I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I've got going on. Got a couple of uh, ribeyes in the uh, sous vide aquarium. Uh, cooking, just put them in a little while ago. We still haven't even come up to temperature, but we're close. So uh, I'm going to let those go for a couple hours and then uh, sear them. And right now I've got some cheesy hash browns going in the oven. Those are just about done, so I'm going to take those out and get to some more stuff. Alright, those are done. And they do look pretty good. Happy to say. So I'm going to go have breakfast. There's Piper. There's Isis. And because we're in the kitchen, they are both being very patient. And farty. I want to do a little bit of outside stuff today. Um, part of it's the uh, collection of all the dog poop from the winter, and I know that you really want to watch that. Uh, but you know, there's some uh, other things I want to open up the tent and air it out a little bit. You got, you know, it's been pretty much closed all winter. I've been in there a couple times. It stayed up, which is nice. Um, so, hey, all the fun. Here's a good example of a thing I need to fix. This is uh, part of the gate door that's made from an old pallet. And the old pallet wood is pretty much rotted here, so the nails aren't holding. And this gets caught on clothes and everything else, so I'm just going to pull it out. But uh, I want to try and fix this and make it a little bit better. So uh, see if I can figure out how to do that without totally replacing it.
spend a little bit of time outside today. At, uh, a little lower than normal, so very close dog level, and I end up getting uh, getting a dog in the face or two during this time. But uh, I've got a seed starter thing that I got earlier this year that I wanted to try uh, sprouting some seeds. And I know you're saying, hey, shouldn't you have done that earlier? And the answer is, yes, I should have, but I didn't. So I'm going to try and do it now. So this is uh, this is it. A little packet of uh, plant food that looks an awful lot like Miracle Grow. Um, shipping stuff. There we go. The handbook. How to sow park seed in bio sponges. Shipping thing. All right. So got the paperwork out of the way. I know that this goes that way. This little dome goes on top of it. Set the dome aside. Okay, apparently they call these bio sponges. And we're supposed to put these into water and let them soak for about 15 minutes before we start putting, uh, putting seeds in. So I'm going to do that. So these are uh, pretty well soaked. They actually seem to hold their shape pretty well. I'm uh, kind of surprised at that. Okay, for seeds, I've got some of the uh, Long John Cayennes from last year. I've got a whole bunch of habaneros, which I want to grow more of this year. I've got some sweet orange bell peppers that I want to try. Deep dark secret sauce. These are the Carolina Reapers. Oh, thank you puppies. All right, the Carolina Reaper seeds. I want to try and grow some of these. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so it looks like the idea is to double plant seeds. So two seeds in each of these little Oh, this is going to be tough. Alright, well, there's three. I'm going to get some bamboo skewers and push those down. I'll be right back. Oh, got some extras hanging on the side. Alright. This is going to be tedious, so uh, I think I'm going to shut down here and you guys can probably figure out what it looks like. This is the first year that I'm trying earnestly to do peppers from seed. Um, I've previously bought the seedlings already sprouted and grown a ways. Or, uh, actually, last year Bertin helped me and uh, started some for me. So, um, we'll see how this works. Apparently there's a fire. Like I said, this is a tedious process, but it's going okay. Uh, dropping seeds. By the way, the bamboo skewer is the perfect tool for this. There we go. 120 seedlings planted. Most of them double seeded, some triple. Got one side that's Carolina Reapers and one side that's Habaneros. I didn't even get to the Long John Cayennes or the Sweet Orange Bells. 
but I have a couple of other planners that I might get to those a little later. Mm -hmm.